If you want to advance in the academic world, it's publish or perish. A North American study has found that scientific journals contain twice as many articles by men as by women. Who really gets a chance to publish uh, at that kind of level? And it, it's a fairly small and restricted environment of people who are in our top research universities. How much external money does it actually take to run a lab, to, to actually have the instrumentation, the equipment, et cetera, that you need in order to really produce the publications? And this is the, the question of the Matthew effect to those who have shall be given even more in abundance. And that is what is actually happening in case of grant support. Those who have get more. In Germany, 83% of endowed professorships are held by men, even though more women study than men. How do you get a professorship? An appointments committee of future colleagues, co-workers and students is formed. And then they choose their future colleague. And if the previous professor was excellent and well-liked, all of them will try to find someone as much like him as possible. And that's going to be hard for a woman because she's not a man. So it's only partly the fault of the research institutes, as a test from the U.S. shows. They had two CVs. Uh, one had a male name and one had a female name, but they were identi otherwise identical. And it was for like a lab manager position. And so they asked people to rate the two CVs. And they rated the one with the male name higher. They were willing to pay him more money. And they saw his potential as being greater. Must family and career be mutually exclusive? Women in top positions often remain childless. But it doesn't have to be that way. And in a Norwegian school, at Norwegian universities, it's a matter of course that people go home from work at four in the afternoon. People who want to work longer are asked, why? Don't you have children or a family? Where's your work-life balance? They've managed to free many academic sectors from male connotations. That's the only way research can become a level playing field harnessing women's potential instead of wasting it.